I am Allison Vaughn. I am the founder and CEO of Jackets for Jobs, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, this is the second time that Jackets for Jobs, TJ Maxx, and Wayne State University have partnered to do this wonderful event. Um, it was very successful the first time, so this event is backed by popular demand. Yes. Hello everyone, my name is Victor Graham, the Director of Community Relations for Wayne State University and welcome to Wayne State, where we believe that Detroit is our campus. I'm just, I'm like one of you. I'm like one of those people that these people are represented through Jackets for Jobs. A group like Jackets for Jobs comes, with, comes along and says, hey, put on a tie, put on a suit, put on a shirt and shows them how to do it and hey, maybe you can go and interview and get you something to get you in, to raise your level of living, raise your standard. This is what it's all about. I was blessed to have, I had two good parents. A program like this, and that's why I'm here because Allison called me and told me about this program and I'm just saying that I am so glad to be a part of it because that's what it's about. Through perseverance, and never saying never, no matter what anybody told me, my dream came true. And I just think that's the key to, to everything, is to never give up and just believe in yourself. And, and if someone can help you, like this group, and point you in the right direction, the world is the sky's the limit. And I agree. People say, how do you do it with all these big, strong, angry men, and you manage all these guys that want to take your head off all the time. I said, honey, I'm from Detroit. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We all know that. There's always adversity. And in my family, it was always health issues. You know, I came from a broken home. I lost both my parents, all my grandparents to cancer. My brother had kidney cancer and lost a kidney. I have two sons. One of them's had malignant melanoma twice. And my youngest son just had bladder cancer, had a surgery done on Valentine's Day. Because why did I pick fighting as a career? Because I'm a fighter. I was born to fight for what I want. Just like all these people that come to Jackets for Jobs, they want a chance. They're fighting to get a job and to be recognized and to be a part of this society that we live in. And it's very, very important that we all have that fighting spirit inside of us. Everybody that's here at this magnificent, wonderful college who's lucky enough to go to Wayne State University, you are in a position to go on and do great things. And it's up to you, each one of us, control our own destiny. And, uh, and you know that. And I'm going to pass this over to you. But have a dream and follow it because you touched on it, Andrea. The most important thing that any of us can have, the number one ingredient, is passion. If you have passion for what you're doing, you will be successful because failing is not an option. Wondering why the heck I'm sitting up here. I have a crown on my head. Life of perfection. Well, like everybody else, I have been faced with adversity in my life. At age 13, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. I had been sick my entire life, but the doctors could never figure out what was wrong with me. Oh, well, Elizabeth, you're a beautiful little girl. You're fine. Well, the doctor looked at me and said, Elizabeth, unfortunately, you will never get any better. Are you kidding me? I'm 13 years old, and you're going to tell me that I'm never going to get better? I don't think so. Well, what's wrong with me? The doctor looked at me and said, you have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. There is no way I am going to allow this to defeat. I will defeat this disease. It's God gave me that adversity in my life for a reason. So I've devoted my year to giving back to children with chronic illness, and I mentor these children and let them know that adversity can empower you. It empowered me. Everybody's given adversity in their life. Mine happened to be a chronic illness. Somebody else, it may be poverty. It may be a plethora of different issues. About taking those negative situations and realizing them are lessons. Um, when I won Miss USA, 
and my platform was working with troubled youth. Life may give you lemons, it's up to you to make that lemonade. When my mother was not in a position to care for me as she had up to a certain point and I found myself without parentage, I decided I would not be a statistic. I was not going to be a teenage high school dropout addict, prostitute, whatever. That was not going to be my, my path. And that is what society said was my path. And I said, only way I can change my future and make it different is to go to college and graduate. And that's exactly what I did. So every action has a consequence, and you cannot blame anybody. You can't blame God. You can't blame your parents. You can't blame your friend. You can't blame society. You can't blame your race. You can't blame the city. You are still ultimately forever always responsible for your actions and your choices that you make. People will be there to help you, but if you're too blinded to see it, you'll walk past it, won't appreciate it, and will take it for granted. But trust and know that God will always give you a, a, a beacon of light, a beacon of hope, someone, somebody, some organization. There will be an anchor for you to hold on to that will give you strength so you can pull yourself up. And that is what Jackets for Jobs is for so many. I appreciate the organization and their mission and what they've done. That's been a part of what I do. I'm very passionate about helping people pursue their dreams. Walk three miles to school. So if you heard about Usain Bolt running so fast, you learned that walking was taking too long. You learned to run. When you get to school, you'll be what? So, if I made it through that in, in Jamaica, when I come to America, everything else is easy. I don't think most of you here in America or in the city of Detroit know how easy you have it. Growing up in Jamaica, I have one shoe one pair of shoe. That shoe was to wear to church, not to go to school. But you take care of that one pair of shoe like you had 10 pairs. We don't have just jobs, we have career. And Jacket for Jobs brings that to the table. And we want to partner with them. To give an opportunity to these kids who wants a job because we love kids who dressed up. You cannot come to McDonald's and don't look right. What Jackets for Jobs does for people. Makes them believe in themselves. And when somebody believes in you, there is nothing you can't do. Even if it's one person. One person that believes in you changes lives. It moves mountains. What this organization does, you're giving people back their soul. And do you know what that means? Everybody here, thank you. Number one thing as a woman, my number one tip I tell every other woman, never let them see you sweat. No matter what you are feeling inside, what you project is what people will perceive. I've been in situations, when I was a sports writer, I went in to do a story with the Detroit Lions back in the 70s when women weren't doing that. And the first thing they did to me was one of the big defensive linebackers, big, big guy, 300 pounds. He came up to me and says, hey, little lady, what are you here for? I said, well, I'm here to do a story. You know, I'm doing an interview. I was writing for the Open Press. He dropped his towel in front of everybody and said, here's your story. Now, could I have gotten very upset and gone and complained to the management? Sure. Could I have said something like, oh, that's so rude and I'm so offended? Absolutely. But what I did instead was I stood up in front of him and I looked right straight at him. I mean, if he's going to let it hang out, I'm going to check it out. <laughs> um, I look right at him, and I said, 
darn, I came here for a big story. <laughs> and let me tell you something. One of this year's hottest colors, a combination of long flowing skirt, a scoop neck top, and light beach rug. Marnita is dressed not only for success, but versatile enough. She's wearing one of the hottest trends for this season, mixing bold colors. Mixing bright bold colors and fabrics from various brands like DC BG and Joe's. Thank you. 